One of the most important parts of curating a show, organizing a show, and applying to the Center Space Project is writing. So we're going to talk a little bit more in depth about um, how you're going to write your actual proposal application. So um, there's five basic steps that you need to engage in in order to do a proposal. The first one would just be coming up with the idea, doing studio visits with the artist, um, and important in this I think that maybe might be missed is doing a little bit of research. So not just about the artist that you're proposing, but about the ideas that they're engaging so you can really enrich the conversation. Um, the second step of the process would be uh, writing your exhibition narrative. So this is a 500 word essay. Um, that is kind of the real meat and potatoes of your exhibition proposal. Um, after the narrative, there's a list of artists and bios, pretty straightforward. A list of images, they don't have to be the exact images that are going to be in the show, but they can be representative of the artwork by the artists that you're including. Um, and then the final part is the floor plan, so that's the kind of perspective map of um, how you're going to lay out the show. Um, so let's talk about the exhibition narrative essay. This is a really functional document. So with your exhibition narrative, you don't want to be overly poetic or experimental. It has a purpose, and that purpose is to convey your ideas to the um, exhibition committee. So you want a clear thesis statement at the beginning of every paragraph. Sit down and outline your ideas. Think about what the point of each paragraph is. Like, this first paragraph is going to introduce the artist. This second paragraph is going to talk about what types of works are in the show. The third paragraph will describe what the works look like. So really, you know, just be very direct with your um, narrative. You might, if you're not the artist and you're writing about them, want to include some of their voice. So include some actual quotes from the artist about their practice, from their statement. Um, and I also like to think about kind of questions that um, you ask the artist. So um, this can also be, if you are the artist, questions that you ask yourself about your own work. Um, um, what kind of questions do you ask when you're approaching artists so you're engaging with the studio? Mm -hmm. Well, I like to use this term, articulate. I think it's important to be polite, to be respectful in the studio, and also not to get overly personal. You want to keep it focused on the artwork that you're discussing when you're doing a studio visit. Um, so it's great to think about process when you're talking to an artist. That's a really important thing that you should be considering. Do you have any more tips for artists or art historians or curators who are thinking about putting a show together? Um, well, one thing that's important to remember as you're finishing up your proposal is to edit really carefully. Think about this proposal as a polished document. You want to put your best foot forward. No typos. That's going to hurt you. Um, think about it almost like a job application. And you can use that strategy as you're putting uh, the bio part together of the proposal as well. So, um, what about these artists, or you as a curator, is going to um, make this a successful show? So try to mobilize that information as you're writing the bio. So I think we're going to wrap it up here. We're really excited to see what kind of proposals you guys put together. Um, this space, center space, is such a great opportunity. It's a huge space uh, for a burgeoning artist or curator to show in. We get tons of traffic through here. Um, Riel, are you happy that you did the center space show? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it gave me the opportunity to showcase some new ideas, um, to push the applications of the medium, and to collaborate with somebody that I hadn't collaborated with before. Yeah, well, thanks so much for talking to me about this. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, can't wait to see your proposals.